all of you. Presiding officer, let me turn now to uh, my statement. And firstly, can I thank you for this recall of Parliament today and join you in wishing everyone all the very best for a new year that we hope, despite its very difficult start, will bring better times. The Cabinet met this morning to assess the up-to-date COVID situation, which I must say at the outset is extremely serious, and to discuss what further action is necessary to minimise further spread of the virus. I will set out the decisions we reached shortly. However, I can confirm now in summary that we have decided to introduce from midnight tonight for the duration of January a legal requirement to stay at home except for essential purposes. This is similar to the lockdown of March last year. However, before I set out these decisions in more detail, I want to take uh, the opportunity to explain in some detail why they are so necessary. In the past few weeks, there have been two significant game changers in our fight against this virus. One, the approval of vaccines is hugely positive and it does offer us the way out of this pandemic. But the other, the new faster spreading variant of the virus is a massive blow. And possibly the most simple way of explaining the challenge we face right now is to compare it to a race. In one lane, we have vaccines and our job is to make sure they can run as fast as possible. And that's why the government will be doing everything we can to vaccinate people as quickly as possible. And I will say more about that later. But in the other lane is the virus, which as a result of this new variant has just learned to run much faster and has most definitely picked up pace in the past couple of weeks. To ensure that the vaccine wins this race, it is essential to speed up vaccination as far as possible, but to give it the time it needs to get ahead, we must also slow the virus down. And because it is now spreading faster, that means even tougher restrictions are necessary. The evidence, presiding officer, is now compelling that the new variant is up to 70% more transmissible than previously circulating strains, and that it may add as much as 0.7 to the R number. And according to recent analysis of PCR test samples, it appears that the new variant already accounts for almost half of all new cases in Scotland. That increased uh, and faster spread is undoubtedly driving the very serious situation we now face. Today's case numbers, uh, 1,905 new cases, uh, with 15% of tests uh, being positive, illustrate the severity and the urgency of the situation. No new deaths were reported today, but that is because yesterday was a Sunday and registration offices were largely closed. But since I updated Parliament before Christmas, 289 deaths have been recorded in our daily figures. That again reminds us of the continuing grief that this pandemic is causing. But let me stress, this is not just about one single day's numbers. We are now seeing a steeply rising trend of infections. Indeed, it is no exaggeration to say that I am more concerned about the situation we face now than I have been at any time since March last year. In the